All right, that project's done. On to the next one. Just took her for a spin around the block. It actually seems to steer a little better. Get that sway bar in the right geometry and it makes a whole world of difference. Next project. He's telling me all about it. Well, this is a big one. This is a big safety related. Get the tow chains here on the trailer. That one's adequate. This one here has no keeper. So she keeps coming loose. So we're going to pull that pin out. My butt. There are the turnbuckle deal, the uh, quick links. We'll put one on each side. There. Just gonna these things. Set back. There we go. You think he's exceedingly posted 25 mile an hour speed limit? I like these hooks, but these always get bent up and tweaked. Do this in the camera view here, probably not, but yeah, that one went easier than the first one. Pins out, cut pin, keeper pin, perch pin. Up the quick links. Guess we take the tags off. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is these are not quite big enough to fit. So I think what I'm going to do is go get a bigger set. Should be able to put those on there and loop them around. I can just leave them on this truck. Instead of having to loop them around like such. Not that that's a bad thing, but... There we go. Safety chain's installed. Give my buddy a call here in a little bit, see if he still needs the tow for the morning. Toss those in the parts bin. Maybe I'll just put them in with the straps and everything. Let's get the truck. Save them for later. So that's it for the automotive stuff for the day. Sway bar, uh, yeah, sway bar lifted on the Jeep. Skid plate put on. Trailer stuff taken care of. Camera's running out of battery. Kitty's been out here helping me the whole time. Yeah, it's Kuda. Yeah. Being a good little helper. Playing with the neighbor dog, keeping him occupied. So next weekend we'll probably play with this thing. It's supposed to rain, but worst case scenario, up under the eave there, I'll run some nails and hook a tarp up to it, and we'll just string it right across and up over the cab of the truck and put it inside the doors or something. Roll it into the windows. It'll give us a dry spot to work. So. Yeah, you just tell it up a whole storm, aren't you? I want to be on YouTube, she says. I want to be a superstar. Yeah. Alrighty. And then... Oh! <laughs> Don't know if I'm talking about this is going to jinx it or what, but maybe picking up another project vehicle. Not this intense, but... My brother's got a guy at work who's... Got an 80, I think it's an 88 or an 89 Comanche four-wheel drive long bed. It's got the Peugeot transmission in it, which is shot. Blew it up. Trying to do a burnout. It's got the non-high output four liter. We're thinking of snagging that if it, if the price is right. Initially it was asking 900, which is way too much. Let's see if we can talk them down to three, four, five hundred bucks, somewhere in that range. Kevin's already got a transmission. Gotta go down to Portland to get it, but 100 bucks. So, see if we can't just do a transmission swap and then turn around and sell it. Get a few hundred more bucks. So, another project vehicle. But, 
Maybe next weekend if it goes through, we'll uh, be hauling it home on this. Actually, if you look, the uh, standing there, that's not water, that's transmission fluid from the Comanche. You had to borrow the trailer to haul it home, so. But anywho, will the projects never stop. Eh, if we can make a couple bucks on it, great. Looks like it's bone stock. It's got some funky spray painting on the hood. It's red. Great. Another red Jeep. But we'll probably buff the spray paint off and clean it up real good. It's got a tweaked front bumper. I don't know. Maybe yank mine off of it and give it a straight front bumper. Because I don't really care about mine. But see if we can't clean her up a little bit. Flip it. Dudes that were up here yesterday with my brother, he was talking he may have a set of uh, tow hooks for the front of mine. Need to uh, hit up Kevin and remind him, give that guy a call, see if he's got him or not. I'll pay for shipping, I'll give him a couple bucks for him if he wants. But I'll have tow hooks on the front of that. And if I get a Dana 44 rear end, I may just set it up with a locker of some sort. Leave the front open, go from there. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Then we cheached. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye.